welcome back my loves today we are going to make some pineapple filling i'm going to show you how to do this very easy few ingredients okay we're going to get right to it i have a 20 ounce can of crushed pineapple we have sugar salt we're going to need a little bit of salt some cornstarch and i have some pineapple flavoring if you don't have that you could use plain vanilla okay and you're also going to need guys a little bit of butter okay and this butter here is just going to make it great so guys right now we are going to mix our dry ingredients which is our sugar and our cornstarch okay and we're going to add a pinch of salt just a pinch of salt because that pinch of salt will definitely balance the flavors Okay, so guys, what we're going to do, we're going to give this a good mixing. Okay, we want to make sure our cornstarch and sugar is well mixed. And not only that, guys, but um, when you mix the cornstarch with the sugar, it breaks up any lumps in it. So any lumps that might be in the cornstarch, the sugar will also help break up any lumps. Okay, because you don't want no lumps in your filling. You want a nice smooth con textured consistency okay and my love the ingredients are in the description box below um this is very simple okay so we are going to take our crushed pineapple we're going to put it in a pot on medium low heat and we are going to add our mixed um dry ingredients to our pineapple and we're going to use um you can use a spoon or a rubber spatula and you're going to mix it. You have to stir constantly, guys. You have to stir this constantly. Okay. Um, so um, do that because you don't want it to burn. Okay. At the bottom and you don't want one part to be thicker and glumpy. So by stirring it const um, constantly will ensure that you have even distribution of heat and... Um, It'll be nice and smooth, okay? And we're going to stir this, guys. It's going to start getting thicker. Now, if you notice that it got a little bit more yellow, it's because I wanted to add a little bit of yellow food gel. That's optional. You don't have to add that. But I wanted to do that because that's just me, okay? So um, we're going to stir this. And as you notice, guys, what's going to happen is when it starts getting hot, of course, it's going to start getting thicker. I like to um, mix this until... It starts looking translucent on the spoon okay so I'm speeding this up for you guys so you can see the process of this and as you can see it's getting thicker and it's gonna start looking translucent okay and mind you guys as it cools as well it's gonna get even thicker as it cools okay so don't worry about that Okay, and my loves, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Don't forget to leave me your comments, give me a thumbs up, and like and share. Let everybody know about Jackie's cooking. Okay, so now, my loves, we are going to add our butter because um, I got it to that nice, thick consistency. Okay, that I wanted, um, and I'm going to add a little bit of butter. The butter I add is because it makes it nice and velvety as that extra richness and I'm going to add my pineapple flavoring. If you don't have that, I get these from Loran. If you don't have that, you can just add vanilla, okay? I just like the extra pineapple punch flavor in it, okay? And my loves, as you can see here is our beautiful pineapple filling, my loves. Nice and thick, let it cool, it could last quite a while in your refrigerator. This goes great in all your cake fillings, coconut, pineapple cakes, what have you, ice cream toppings. Guys, enjoy, eat, love, and pray. Bye.